Hello, hello, and welcome, my mortal soul. This is Venus Kalita hosting tonight's pre recorded edition of Riddle Me Snack Night, the keto edition. All keto friendly snacks, so very low in the net carb value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will tell you which ones they are as we reveal what it is we're going to be munching on this evening. All yummy. These are my top three favorites from the keto diet world. Um, and I will still give pauses so that you have a chance to guess at what the answers could be. Short, simple, easy to whip up recipes so you don't have to waste any time because your time is valuable and so are you. Here comes round number one with no further ado. Riddle me this. I made from fermented grape juice, yet I have many different names and types. What could I be? Do 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 Riddle number two. I'm a virtually colorless and tasteless water soluble protein. I'm prepared from collagen and used in food preparation as the base. Hmm, clue right here in my hand. Hmm, what am I? Do 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 la 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 do 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 riddle number three i'm a crystallized powder substance that makes things not salty not sour and not hot what am i da 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 Riddle number four. I'm a liquid edible that can change the look of food. What am I? All right, everybody, let's review. Let's see if you crack my codes. In riddle number one, I'm made from fermented grape juice, yet I have many different names and types. What am I? Wine. And you're going to need two cups of your favorite dry red, white, or rosé wine. Keep it at room temperature, and you're going to divide it up. In riddle number two, I'm a virtually colorless and tasteless water-soluble protein prepared from collagen and used in food preparation as the base. What am I? Unflavored gelatin powder, and we'll need a quarter cup. Riddle number three, I'm a crystallized powder substance that makes things not salty, not sour, not hot. What does that leave? Sweet. It's going to be a sweetener. The suggestion is three-quarter cup crystallized allulose or a sweetener of your choice, but this comes in with a carb value less than a real sugar. Riddle number four, I'm a liquid edible that can change the look of food. What am I? Food coloring. We'll need one drop. It's optional, whatever color you like, whatever makes you happy. So Venus, you may think, what does this make? This is a dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free treat called the Drunken Gummy Bears. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> At a net carb value of one gram per serving, here's how we make them. Place silicone gummy bear molds on a baking sheet. In a small bowl, combine one cup of the wine and the gelatin. Stir well and allow to sit undisturbed for several minutes. Next, in a medium saucepan, simmer the remaining one cup of wine over medium heat until the volume is reduced reduced by half for about 10 minutes. Remove from the heat. Whisk the allulose and gelatin mixture into the hot wine until completely dissolved. Add the food coloring for using it. Now, if you're not someone who wants to cook with alcohol, use grape juice. There's a white version and that beautiful colored version, the purple. Next, you're going to transfer the mixture to a spouted measuring cup or squeeze bottles. Alternatively, use a liquid dropper or pipette to dispense. Fill the molds to the top with the mixture and scrape excess fluid away. Now, transfer the baking sheet with the molds to the refrigerator to chill for two hours or until they're stiff. Release the gummies by pushing the candy outward from the back of the molds. The net carb value for the snack is one carb per gummy bear serving if you're using the wine. Chef tips, you can experiment with champagne, hard spirits, 
flavor extracts to suit your preferences. I use extracts. And you can tweak the type of sweetener to go from sugar-filled to sugar-free. Store this treat in reusable plastic bags, you know those Ziplocs, in the fridge for up to one week and enjoy. Yummy, yummy. I love those gummies. Yes, I do. But what if you're looking for something cooler? Don't worry, Emsel. I've got just the thing. Here comes round number two. Riddle me this. I'm a type of fruit that is used to make guacamole. I'm green and have a large pit in the middle. What am I? Riddle number two. I'm white on the inside, but I'm not a loaf of bread. I have a husk on the outside, but I am not a head of corn. I have a hard shell, but I'm not an egg. I'm brown and hairy on the outside, but I'm not a dog. What am I? Riddle number three. Originally produced from corn, I'm also naturally occurring in things like figs, raisins, wheat, and maple syrup. What am I? Riddle number four. I am a distilled spirit from sugarcane. Alas, this is one of my byproducts. What am I? Riddle number five. I'm a type of fruit that's green and sour, used in cooking and eaten raw. What am I? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ooh, look, there's a hint over here. Ooh. La, 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 la. All right, everyone, let's find out if your thinkers are solving the riddles. In the first riddle, I'm a type of fruit that is used to make guacamole. I'm green and have a large pit in the middle. What am I? Avocado. We need one avocado halved and pitted. In riddle number two, I'm white on the inside, but I'm not a loaf of bread. I have a husk on the outside, but I'm not a head of corn. I have a hard shell, but I'm not an egg. I am brown and hairy on the outside, but I'm not a dog. What am I? Coconut. And we're going to need one and a half cups of canned, full-fat coconut milk stirred. Riddle number three. Originally produced from corn, I'm also naturally occurring in things like figs, raisins, wheat, and maple syrup. What am I? A sweetener. We'll need a quarter cup of crystallized allulose or sweetener of your choice. In riddle number four, I'm a distilled spirit from sugarcane. Molasses is one of my byproducts. What am I? Rum. And don't forget there's rum extract as well if you don't want to use the alcohol. We need two ounces of the rum. In riddle number five, I'm a type of fruit that's green and sour, used in cooking and eaten raw. What am I? A lime, and we'll need one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice for this recipe. So, Venus, you may wonder, what does this make? Boozy pops. That's right, look down here, this lovely thing. It's a boozy pop. <laughs> Isn't that just fun to offer people? Boozy pops, just say it. Boozy pops. Anyways, it's a net carb value of three grams per pop. Here's how we whip them up scoop the avocado into a blender. Add the coconut milk, allulose rum, and lime juice, and process until smooth. Next, fill a four ounce ice pop mold with the mixture. Softly tap the molds on the counter to release all bubbles. Insert sticks in the center of each, then freeze for six hours or until they're completely solid. Finally, store the frozen pops in the molds until ready to serve. Yum! I love them, they're yummy! And now with no further ado, here comes round three, because it's snack night. We want this to go fast. We want our munchies. So riddle me this. I go solid in freezers. In rivers, I can flow. My chemical formula is known as H2O. What am I? Do, 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 do. 
Riddle number two. I'm sweet like sucrose, but without some of sugar's downsize, what could I be? You've heard it before. Shh. Do, 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 Riddle number three. I'm a brown shell on the outside and my shape is an oval. However, I'm not an egg from a palm tree's where I fall. What am I? La, 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 Riddle number four. This starts off as a bean, which then goes on to be ground up. It spends some time brewing in a cup or mug it's found. What is it? <laughs> Riddle number five. I am an essential ingredient in many Western desserts, especially baked goods like custards, ice creams, and cakes. What could I be? Da 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 da. In riddle number six, I'm a dark powder used in baking made from fermented beans that get roasted and pressed. I tend to have a bitter and strong flavor. What am I? La 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 All right, here we go. Riddle number seven. Top of the morning to you. I am derived from grains aged in casks. What am I? Me 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 Riddle number eight. I'm a thick white liquid that contains a lot of butterfat. What could I be? Moo, 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 moo. All right, everyone, let's review. Let's solve this. In riddle number one, I go solid in freezers and rivers I can flow. My chemical formula is H2O. What am I? Water. We need a quarter cup of water for this recipe. Riddle number two, I'm sweet like sucrose, but without some of sugar's downsize, what could I be? Again, it's crystallized allulose or another sweetener of your choice. You'll need a quarter cup of it. Riddle number three, I have a brown shell on the outside and my shape is an oval. However, I'm not an egg from a palm tree's where I'll fall. What am I? Again, coconut. And we're going to need two tablespoons of coconut oil, unsalted butter, or ghee for this recipe. Riddle number four. This starts off as a bean, which then goes on to be ground up. It spends some time brewing, and in a cup or mug it will be found, especially in my morning run to the office. What is it? Coffee. And we'll need one tablespoon of instant. Oh, no, one teaspoon of instant coffee powder. Just a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon now. <laughs> Riddle number six. I'm a dark powder used in baking made from fermented beans that get roasted and pressed. I tend to have a bitter and strong flavor. So for those of you who are not coffee lovers, this is cocoa. Cocoa powder. We'll need one teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder for this recipe. Riddle number seven. Top the morning to you. I am derived from grains aged in casks. That little bit at the front was the hint. What am I? Irish whiskey. We'll need a quarter cup of Irish whiskey for this recipe. Riddle number eight. I'm a thick white liquid that contains a lot of butter fat. What could I be? Moo moo kachu. It's a heavy cream. We'll need one cup of the heavy cream for this recipe. 
Now, Venus, you may ask, what does this make? It's a rich and creamy, light and airy, gluten-free, nut-free, vegetarian-friendly Irish cream mousse with a net carb value of two carbs per serving. Really nice stuff. Here's how we cook it up. First, in a large saucepan, combine the water, allulose or other sweetener, coconut oil, instant coffee, vanilla, and cocoa powder over medium heat until the sweetener is fully dissolved. I would suggest stirring with a fork to make sure. Remove from the heat, stir in the whiskey, and allow the mixture to cool. Next, in a large bowl with an electric, misker, <laughs> with an electric mixer, whip the cream on medium for seven to eight minutes until stiff peaks are forming. Fold in the cooked whiskey mixture. Now transfer to serving glasses or dessert dishes. Chill in the refrigerator to set for a minimum of one hour. Be patient, it's worth it, until you're ready to serve it. Mm -mm. Bon appetit, Emsel! This is Venus Kalita, and so ends this week's edition of Riddle Me Snack Night, the Keto Edition. Happy eating, Emsel! Let me know in the comments which recipe you like the best, and if you made any tweaks to make it your own. Until next time, have a fantastic day, and I'll be back live for Riddle Me Din Din next Tuesday night. Take care, everybody. Have fun experimenting in your kitchen, and enjoy.